It's hung, well, five of the seven bolts. The other two on the very top, these five, should hold it just fine, it's long enough for me to get the top two in and started and going. And I should be able to let the jack down for the most part and relieve some of the pressure off of these bolts that I really don't like being in the oil pan. So I can lower it, remove these support bolts I used that are actually my exhaust bolts for the broken ones. And I can jack it back up. And now it's on the jack again. I'll Battery died. So as I was saying, five of the seven bolts are in. Those five bolts hold it long enough for me to get those two support bolts out, which are the exhaust bolts. Put the jack back on it to support the weight so it's not straining the five bolts that are in there because they are aluminum, I'm pretty sure. I seem aluminum, they're really lightweight. And now I can get access to the top two, but the hard part's done. I would suggest getting a transmission jack with the tilt adjusters that actually work. That made it a lot easier and has the corner brackets that are actually supposed to catch the edges of the oil pan and keep it from sliding around. That would have been a big help the other night. Back to work. So small problem, <laughs> bound to happen. Up here at the very top, there are two bolts that go in. On the driver's side of the center line of the transmission is a bracket that holds some hoses. And the bolt that goes there also has a bracket on it. But the bracket that's on the hoses got between the transmission bell housing and the engine. So those five bolts I just put in, I get to loosen them back up, try and fish that bracket out of the gap there. And then hopefully that'd be pretty easy and quick and uh, pull everything back together then.